How much do you know about planetary motion? Well, what about retrograde? Well, today I'm explaining the science behind this type of movement. You may have heard it before, retrograde, or maybe you've heard Mercury retrograde, but what's that mean exactly? I met up with Planetarium Director at ODU, Justin Mason, to dive deeper into the subject. When it comes to the Earth versus the other planets moving, things can seem a little backwards. Once the Earth reaches its closest point with a planet called opposition, the other planet goes into what's called retrograde. A planet typically looks like it's moving eastward in our sky relative to the planets behind it, but when retrograde begins. So suddenly, it, as night by night, if you map it out, it's moving eastward and then suddenly it reverses direction and then circles back after we get far enough ahead. We tried out a visual explanation. So if we have the Earth here and we have Mars, and we're going to use a meter stick kind of as your line of sight from the Earth towards Mars, we're going to kind of try to show off retrograde motion. And so, and again, retrograde motion is an apparent motion of this, a planet moving westward suddenly compared to the background stars. And this is our line of sight. It's moving one direction, but then as the Earth passes up and laps the other planet, suddenly our apparent, our point of view switches from going that way to this way as we kind of lap it because we're moving faster. It's not that it actually switches in its orbit. It doesn't The planet doesn't stop and start moving backwards. It's an apparent motion because we on the Earth are moving faster than the outer planet. Rochelle Peart, 13 News Now. And I'm always looking for story ideas, so if you have something you want me to explain, just send me an email or you can find me on Twitter.